Hello, and welcome to Uniform History. This first video is essentially going to explain the reasoning behind the channel, the format of its videos, and to basically set everything up. Without getting into too much detail about myself, I'll just say that I've been a big fan of history with an emphasis on military for a long time now. For as long as I can remember, I've been reading about, researching, and collecting all things military, particularly camouflage. So I figured I'd take the interest and create videos talking about it. Anyway, back to the channel. As I develop it, I'll have a few different video formats. The largest one will be The History Of, in which I will cover a specific aspect of a specific country's military uniform during a specific time period which may or may not be involved in a specific war or conflict. Yeah, try saying that five times fast. So if you're confused, let me show you an example. This is a picture of an East German soldier. He's more than likely a border guard from around the 70s or 80s based on his uniform. I'd break down his uniform and gear into a series of videos. One would be on the M59 helmet he's wearing, another on the Schneetarn camouflage uniform, the strapping and pouches would be in another, and so on. Throughout each video, I'd use various video clips and pictures, such as the ones you've been seeing in this one, alongside footage of the specific items up close, if I have them in my collection. The reason I'm doing it piece by piece, rather than just covering the full uniform all at once, is so that I can focus my efforts on each item and be able to give as much detail as possible that and to not make the video extremely long and arduous to watch. Every video will be different as not every military's uniforms are the same, but the format will usually start with a little history about the item, things such as but not limited to what came before it, why it was made, who it was issued to, and if it was involved in any wars. The second type of video will be a sort of supplement to the history of, in which I will showcase the particular piece in detail and go over information from a collecting standpoint. I'll bring up things such as what to look for to ensure it's authentic, as well as their availability, price, and where to get said items. Sometimes all of this can be somewhat confusing, with numerous variations, constantly updated versions, and deviations in government specifications, not to mention information getting lost to history and the fact that some information is more readily available in certain countries than others, things often get overlooked or disputed. Just when you think you've figured it out, something new is discovered. That being said, I'm sure I might get a thing or two wrong from time to time, so if you do see something that's incorrect or a bit of information is missing, please point it out and I'll be sure to acknowledge and add it to the video. Although I know a lot, I'm still learning new things with every new piece I get. Finally, for the third type of video, I'd showcase rarer and more interesting pieces of my collection as I get them. Really, it's more or less a, a similar style as the supplementary videos, but just in a quicker and more informal way. Oh, and every now and again, I will do a video on some form of fictional military uniform or costume. It'll range from specific characters like Lieutenant Kilgore from Apocalypse Now and War Daddy from Fury, to more out there things like the mobile infantry uniform from Starship Troopers, the Marines from Halo, and the asset containment units from Jurassic World. The reason for this is a lot of fictional uniforms seen in movies, TV, and video games are actually based around or inspired by real-life military uniforms. That, and it's also another hobby of mine, and after spending countless hours researching, sourcing, and building them, I want to help anyone who may be trying to do the same. Through this channel, my goal is to inform and educate anyone who is interested in, collects, or just curious about military and the history behind it, and to show off all sorts of pieces. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, be sure to check back or subscribe to stay in the loop.